All right. Here I want to show you how you can draw the curve or line of interpenetration of two solids. How you can draw the curve of line of interpenetration of two solids. So we have two unequal cylinders, two unequal cylinders, that, that means the two cylinders have different diameters. So the diameter of a vertical cylinder is 50 millimeters and the diameter of horizontal cylinder, that is the cylinder that penetrates the vertical cylinder, its diameter is 30 millimeters. So I want to show you how you can determine or draw the curve of interpenetration of the two cylinders. Now, this is what you need to do. The first thing is to draw a horizontal line, horizontal center line. So draw a horizontal center line, then draw a vertical center line. All right, as we have said that the diameter of the vertical cylinder is 50 millimeters. So 50 by two will give us 25. Take a measurement of 25 millimeters on your ruler. Then put the pinpoint of your compass at the center or the point of intersection of the two center lines draw a circle so this is the plan for the vertical cylinder this is the plan of the vertical cylinder then we need to draw the plan of the penetrating cylinder the plan of the penetrating cylinder so what you need to do in this case So let's assume that the length of the penetrating cylinder is 30 millimeters. So from this point here, take a measurement of 30 millimeters. So this is 30 millimeters. All right, then draw a vertical line at this point. So draw a vertical line, a vertical center line here. Then take a measurement of 15 millimeters as we have said that the diameter of the penetrating cylinder is 30. So half of 30 is 15. Take a measurement of 15 millimeters here. So put the pinpoint of your compass at this point and draw a semicircle. So divide the semicircle into six equal parts. So put your compass at this point here. So and put it here. So you make an arc here. And you make an arc here. Then you put it at this point here. Make an arc here. So you have six. Then number this as follow. So if this is zero. If this is zero and this is also zero. So here we have one, here we have two, this is three, then this is also one, and this is two. So you number in this way. Then the next thing is that, so join this point, this point zero, join it with a thick line, with a thick continuous line. So you draw it, it go like this, so wherever it, when you touch the circle, you stop it there. And then you also did draw this with a continuous line. So wherever I touch the circle, you stop it there. And then for this one, from one, so draw a thin line. So it touch the circle at this point. And also draw from here a thin line. So from here also, draw a thin line. And also from here. 
draw 18 line when you touch the circle you stop it there all right so the plan for the penetrating cylinder is this so this is the plan from here to here like this is the plan for the penetrating cylinder now let's draw the front view of the vertical cylinder and the penetrating cylinder which is horizontal cylinder so just take your T square, take it up a little bit and draw your horizontal line from here. Then, with your cell square, put it at this point here. Draw a vertical line like this. Then, from here, also draw a vertical line. So, let's assume that the height, or let's take the height of the vertical cylinder as 70 millimeters and 70 millimeters so this is 70 millimeters so draw horizontal line from here all right then let's assume that or let's get the midpoint of this 70 which is 35 so this is the midpoint. So we are going to do it in this way that the central axis of the two cylinders, that is the vertical and the horizontal cylinder, they intersect at 90 degree. At 90 degree. So the next thing that I need to do here is that this is already, this is still my 15. So the 15 that I use to draw this semicircle, which is half of diameter of the penetrating cylinder, put it at this point. Here, the point of intersection of this vertical center line and this horizontal center line, put it here. And draw a semicircle here too. So draw a semicircle like this. So as we are divided this into six equal parts, divide this also into six equal parts. Here is it. and put it here all right so we number in this way. we are going to alternate the numbering so instead of zero here or zero here or zero here so we call this this will be three now and this is also three so you have to alternate the numbering so this is now zero and this will be one and this is two this is also one and this is also two so take note of the numbering. The numbering is very, very important. So the next is, so the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this, the front view of the vertical cylinder, which is a, in form of a rectangle. And you also make this, I'll make this tick. Also, I'll make this tick. Okay, so before I finish the rest, so what I'm going to do now is that, so from this point three here, draw a thick line, so meeting this line at this point, and then you also draw a thick line from here, meeting this line at this point. All right, so wait, so from this point, draw a thin line, so draw it into the vertical cylinder. Also draw this into the vertical cylinder with a thin line. And draw this also into the vertical cylinder with a thin line. And this one also draw it with a thin line into the vertical cylinder. So you can see the way I did it. All right, so the next thing that we are going to do here is that I want to bring out the remaining part of the vertical cylinder. So I need to take this line. Like this I also need to stick this line like this all right so I believe you can see it now all right so for the penetrating cylinder so we also have this to be its other edge so this is the front view 
or the penetrating and the vertical cylinder and this is the plan what we have here is the plan all right the next thing that we want to do is that if you look at these lines that we draw here from this point that we draw here are including this zero so they touch this circle at this point for zero it touch the circle at this point and for one it touch the circle at this point and for two it touch the circle at this point so zero here zero here and zero here they are the same point so i may decide not to take this one and one here at this point and one here they are the same point then two here and two here they are the same point then we have three at this point we have three at this point all right so if let's start we are going to start with three this point three so if you look at this point here it's on this vertical line so follow this vertical line so if you look at this this is point three and if you trace it so this three this vertical three and this horizontal three they intersect at this point here so the same thing applies to this they also intersect here now to get other points so what we are going to do is that from point two here on the plan draw a vertical line like this draw a vertical line and from point one here also draw a vertical line and from point zero so draw a vertical line all right so with all that we have done here so we need to locate the point of intersection of the horizontal numbering and vertical numbering so now let's look at point two now so if i follow this line if i follow this line we have gotten that of three. this point three here and this point three here now if i follow this two now this line two if i follow it here and then i go or uh, vertical then horizontal two and vertical two they intersect at this point they intersect here so the same thing applies to this one they intersect here this is it then vertical one i have to go like this then i go off vertical so vertical one and vert and horizontal one they intersect at this point here so the same thing applies to this they intersect here next is zero so if i move like this i have vertical zero it goes like this and horizontal zero if you look at it like this they intersect at this point all right so this point that we have so we are going to join them together with the use of our french curve so if you look at it it forms a curve so what we need to do is to use the french curve to join them together to obtain the curve of interpenetration of the two cylinders so this is it so you make use of your french curve so this is what you want to get all right so this is it. this is what you want to get so this is the curve of interpenetration of the two unequal cylinders so to determine the curve of interpenetration of two unequal cylinders is as simple as i've explained it here so just follow the way i did it as i said that the diameter of the vertical cylinder is 50 millimeters and the diameter of the penetrating cylinder is 30 millimeters so you can use the same uh, dimensions to get what you need the height of the vertical cylinder is 70 and the height the length of horizontal cylinder is 30 millimeters so thank you for listening